transfer case is this guy. As you can see, it's right at the very back. There's your output shaft going to your rear differential. That shaft there goes to a forward differential. The input shaft goes down here and that goes through to our gearbox. There is our drain plug. Our filling plug is right here. Always do the filling plug first. Filler first. Begins with F. Mud is not our friend. Not in this instance. Spotless. We'll get our pick just to quickly chase out these two Allen head bolts. Okay, so what I've done here is I've doubled up on my extensions. We have 8mm Allen socket. We have a universal joint also known as our wobbly joint. A small extension, a large extension, and then our normal 3 8 ratchet. So going over this hanging bracket here. Sorry for the noise on the exhaust. There we are. Now, you can... That's, we're actually it's not really in a nice position to turn that. Get it to a place where you want. And then hold the head of the ratchet. Crack. That's a good sound, remember. This one is pretty tight. We need our torque wrench when we come to put it back on. Now, a bit of oil in here. It's already starting to come out. All the way. When we get towards the end, take our tools away. We'll do it by hand. Remember, there is a washer here. Keep it to one side. If you don't have a spare, we can reuse this as long as it's not damaged by annealing it. Okay, I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. But there's our plug. Put it to one side. And then we'll do our friend on the bottom. Now, there that says. And the oil's going to come out of here really fast. And there we go. So, to anneal a copper washer, we get our trusty coat hanger, our blowtorch, or you can even use a stove in the kitchen if you don't have blowtorch. And we've got a cup of cold water here. Gently work our way around, always keep it in a circle. The smoke that you see coming off is the oil that was on it. Keep going, keep going. The washer will go black. As it changes colour, everything burns off. Come on, girl. We need it a nice cherry red. Always keep it in the tail part of the flame, not in the bright blue bit. If you do it in the bright blue part, you stand the chance of melting it very quickly. Here we are. Nice cherry red. Three, two, one, and quench. Switch off our blowtorch. Safety first. Put that somewhere where it cannot touch anything hot, cold, or and here we are. Perfectly quenched. A nailed pair of washers. You can see the coloration, it's totally changed. This is ready to go back. If you were to bend this copper now, it's incredibly soft. Well, the essential case hardening that happens when it's in service has all been normalized and this is as soft as this copper will ever ever be but the good news is we can reuse them because they weren't deformed one on one plug one on the next yeah so we know it takes about a liter and a half um but it says just to pour until it overflows. It's one of the few things on this car that you actually do like that. So what we need to do is we'll take this guy off, use a little piece of plastic hose, slice off the end, 
put it on. Now we have a little filling tube. So clean our faces as best we can. New rag. What we need to do is inspect the face here and the face on here to make sure that there is no damage. You should see a solid shiny circle where the copper over it washer has been sitting. And the same on this one. So let me have a quick look. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we want to see. Remember, an engineer wants perfection and will accept excellence. Now, first things first, we have our copper washer on our nice clean plug. Place it in here. Threads in nice and easily until it just stops snug. We'll get our extension and our 3 8 Allen drive. Next, we torque this guy up to 21 foot pounds. 21, 2, 1. Make sure we're going the right way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And support the head as we always do. Push, 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 push. The copper is squishing, and that is it. That's all we do. So now the copper's compressed. We've got a good seal, and this is tight. Little tip you can use the end of one of these tools to poke through the seal on your new oil. Immediately you can smell it. Get your oil so distinctive. Screw on our lid and cross thread it like I just did there. Nice and tight because this stuff absolutely stinks. on our hose. The hose isn't a fabulous fit but we just need to be careful when we're filling. That's all. Now throw that hose through. Make sure there's no dirt or dust in to our trans transfer case like so. And that bucket underneath to catch the drips that will happen. All we can do is turn it around. It's pretty soon you'll see beautiful stuff come. There we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All the way. Okay, so here we are. 1.3 litres came out. 1.3 litres went in, no leaks, just wiping off. The next thing to do and the last thing to do is our torque wrench, that's 21 foot pounds. Can we fit? Yes we can. There we go. Remember, hold the head with one hand and then crank with the other. Only do it in a position that's comfortable for you. And there we are. That's it. Now just make sure you go and wipe up any oil that you spilled because if you don't you might come back and think oh I have a leak. I have a leak. Oh my gosh I have a leak. And that's not what we want. So specifically around our filler and drain port. <clears throat> so, well done. You've just done the transfer case oil change. You just saved yourself a load of money. You now know where some more things are in your car and hopefully you've learned some new skills. So, here's to you. Cheers. Oh, that's a really good brew. Really good. See you next time.